I want to show you a trick that can improve your match quality score for meta API events. This number right here, but also um, the way enhanced conversion for Google work um, and API events for TikTok and Pinterest. Uh, what's this number? I think you already know because I have many videos about it on uh, our YouTube channel. Um, it's a number that shows how well Meta is able to match events with a user. Uh, when they match events, they can measure conversion and they can eventually uh, optimize uh, as delivery. So everything works better when this score is higher. However, uh, in order for this score to be a good one, you need to send all sorts of data. And if you use Pixel Your Site, I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site. I'm talking about our plugin. If you use Pixel Your Site, we do send um, the required data whenever possible. On this channel, I have a video about FBP and FBC. These are quite crucial in having a good match score. Uh, we also send something called external ID. And I have a video explaining how it works. Really useful as well. Uh, but when possible, we try to send user personal data. Things like uh, first name, last name, phone number, uh, email address. These are really helpful and Meta can use them um, to match events to a user. And uh, how do we get this kind of data? First of all, we get it from a, a WordPress account. But in order to be able to get it, you need the visitor to be logged in into a WordPress account, which is not always the case. We also take it from WooCommerce. And uh, when someone places an order on your WooCommerce store, we have a lot of um, data available and we can send it with um, our conversion API events. We store this data in cookies so we can send it not only when the order is placed, but also after that with uh, all the events in the session. But there's also something we can do. We can uh, detect data when a visitor completes a form, a form like this one or like this one. Um, and if, let's say, like, they, they give you their first name, last name, email, phone number, we can detect these fields and uh, use the data with our conversion API events or Google enhanced conversions. But there is something you need to do. You need to help Pixel your site so we know where to look for this data. And uh, we have this option on our global settings page. This is the global settings page. Advanced user data detection. And here you need to uh, add the name of the field. By default, we have some uh, names already. These are quite popular names used by popular form plugins. But uh, just to be sure, Open the page with the form, right click, inspect, and look for the name of this field, this value here. Copy and uh, go back to Pixel Your Site, add it, paste. Now, Pix uh, I have it twice. Now, Pixel Your Site will be able to use the data from that field. We know where to look for the data. Do the same for the other fields, except email. Emails are quite special because this is a special type, email um, type, a field. So we are able to detect without any uh, extra help if the form uses the correct um, form type for emails. And in this case, they do. Most form plugins use the correct form, um, email type, but you can um, confirm type email. If they don't have type email, you can also take the name of the field, in this case, email one, and add it here. So only if the form doesn't use the correct type, add the name as well. And um, save. Once you save, we are able to detect the data and send it with our events. Uh, I also have a video about this other function, uh, option that we have right here. We can take a similar data from URL parameters. So watch that video as well. Maybe it applies to you. Some websites send um, uh, personal data 
to your parameters and we are able to get the values from those parameters. Um, so that's it. It's not a crucial thing, but it's something that you should consider doing because uh, EMQ can get better in time and uh, this improves conversion tracking and uh, as delivery. Uh, it's a paid feature, so it's part of Pixel Site Professional. Make sure you update the plugin to have all the latest features that we add. We consistently add new features to our products. Um, if you don't have Pixel Site Professional, maybe you should upgrade. It's really useful. And um, yeah, that's it. I'm Christian Stoichesko from Pixel Your Site. Thank you for watching. Share this video, like this video, and uh, subscribe to our channel. See you next time.